my dear students foundation course in cma cost and management accounting foundation course accountancy paper it's my pleasure to interact with you and give my thoughts to motivate you to write this paper in an excellent manner and clear it confidently so that you take up the full cost and management accountants i must share with you that i am a practicing cost and management accountant so therefore it's my pleasure to come to talk to aspiring students to this profession what are the tips one can give for examinations you are already prepared or in the process of preparing you have solved so many numerical problems you got gone through the books so you are much confident you can argue with the teacher as to how a particular numerical problem should be handled so my tip cannot really go into the topics that you have already covered in which you have sufficiently intense knowledge but this foundation exam has a unique feature that the examiners are not looking into your solving a numerical question absolutely correct coming with the answers they are in fact trying to qualify you whether you are having the necessary aptitude for being a cost and management accountant to find out that they are trying to test your basic knowledge in accounting and cost accounting what do you mean by basic knowledge do you have that conceptual clarity obviously further topics will be taken up in books by your lectures by your own more study discussions etc but right now when you write your foundation paper do you have that clarity do you have a distinction between what is correct and what is wrong the basic principles some of you might have had the paper in accounting at the 12th class and some of you may not have may be new to this entire topic of accounting costing etc especially to them i wish to bring down to you the topic is very easy to simple if you have developed an habit of concentrating on the concepts rather than uh what do you call as mugging up ratoi yani if you can use an hindi term ratne ki aadat mat rakhiye samajhne ki aadat rakhiye और देखिए कि कंसेप्ट जैसे ही आपके दिमाग में जाती हैं तो एग्जामिनेशन के टाइम में मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन ऑटोमेटिकली आप आंसर करते जाएंगे मुझे इस विषय पे चिंता नहीं है आई एम नॉट रियली कंसर्न वेदर यू आर केपेबल ऑफ सॉल्विंग न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स और नॉट ऑफ कोर्स इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट दैट इज नॉट द सफिशियंट सफिशियंट इज डू यू हैव द कंसेप्चुअल क्लैरिटी now coming to the examination structure if you see that roughly about 30 marks are given for multiple choice questions which means you know if you go into the concepts on each topic and gather those conceptual topics in your mind i'm sure out of 30 25 is sure for you now since this is more or less a qualifying exam there's nothing like you get 70% 80% since just you have to go through the marks to qualify it this 25 will be very essential so first and the foremost you know, uh, the tip that i would like to give you is please concentrate on solving multiple choice question by perfecting your knowledge on concepts now with regard to the concepts if you take up your syllabus i have your syllabus in front of me i am sure you must keep it in front of you when you talk with accounting concepts principles and conventions roughly about three questions will definitely come because this is the area where they want to see whether you have an actual aptitude are you understanding the dual concepts are you understanding the going concern concept or you are understanding the money measurement concepts are you understanding certain aspects like journalizing posting ledger etc now once you have understood this the next topic comes on 
capital revenue receipts and expenditure now this is a question exclusively for multiple choice question it may be as simple as that so they may give you some items to identify whether they are capital receipts or capital expenditure or revenue receipts or revenue expenditures so once you understand the definition clearly and try your understanding by taking some examples you're true and i'm sure one question minimum will come on this then going through the double entry process how the books are kept how what is the principles of journalizing how do you post them what is debit balance what is credit balance how do you find the balance how do you prepare the trial balance what does the trial balance say what does the trial balance does not say etc this topic should give you around 3 4 questions <clears throat> so you can go through the concepts solve few problems but i would not advise you at least 15 days before the exam do not try any solve problems on this topic ensure that you keep on revising your concepts individually then comes to specific topics depreciation now this is a uh, identified topic for your course so please if you are going to do this chapter then do it thoroughly what is depreciation what are depreciation for different types of assets how depreciation is calculated how it is shown in financial statements and what are the different methods of finding depreciation and what is a journal entry in sinking fund methods etc etc you don't have sinking fund you have only straight line method and diminishing balance method so it should be as simple as that one especially when you calculate diminishing balance method to it there is a small tip i don't think you will get it but then if some examiner would like to go deeper a partially used asset having a book balance on a diminishing value method wants to dispose of in a particular year so you might have to calculate depreciation in that year and then find out what is the sale value diminished value and find out the profit or loss on sale so please be warned on this type of questions also then one of the best way to revise the topic still now conceptually is solving yourself five problems on rectification of errors take up any five problems from the examination from the books from my videos anywhere and try to solve yourself if you cannot solve quickly then do it by saying it next time close the book do it again do it again three or four times you do it yourself how the rectification is done what are the process in rectification of errors what is a journal entry what is suspense account why it is maintained you have revised the entire topic up to rectification of errors then there are small topics like bank reconciliation statement bill of exchange consignments joint venture etc now i leave it your choice among these four topics you will get definitely two to three questions between consignment and joint venture there could be one between bill of exchange bank installation statement there could be one or two questions so once you go through the concepts what is promissory note what is uh, notary public what is the dishonor of checks what is the entry at the time of dishonor of checks how notary charges are recorded well your concepts are clear you can through in that one so please decide on yourself to it sole property uh, property ship concerns preparing a profit loss account i must tell you to understand the concepts thoroughly on financial statements please do go through the text and solve at least one problem before the examination so you know how profit loss account is prepared what are the items do come what are debit balances taken to profit loss account what are credit balances which are taken to profit loss account how the profit is calculated how adjustments for bad debts outstanding expenses prepaid expenses etc are made and then preparing the balance sheet how do you calculate the show the balance sheet etc your concepts will be thoroughly cleared with regard to profit loss account with regard to the adjustments with regard to calculation of profit and with regard to various items in balance sheet then we have a profit loss account preparation for a non profit organization which is income expenditure and receipts and payment account give concentration on understanding what is income expenditure account what is receipts and payments account especially in detail and find out the difference between these two 
what are the differences and why the differences why certain items in receipts are not shown as the income in income expenditure why certain income in income expenditure is not shown as receipts and give concentration on outstanding subscription subscription received in advance how will you treat them and all these things i will not emphasize that you must practice yourself too many questions total numerical question on income tax expenditure account rather concentrate on conceptual basis if you can take up subscription itself how do you calculate subscription to be shown in income tax expenditure subscription to be shown in receipts and payments account based on how much subscription was received for this year for previous year for next year and how much subscription is outstanding for the current year all these information you must know by concepts then you have section b this is the most crucial section for your profession all of you i would like to give though the percentage of marks may be only 40% to be total 100% marks but you give concentration on this because this will give you motivation towards the overall profession thoroughly understand what is cost what is cost accounting fundamentally you may not have read this in the book fundamentally cost means the resources consumed while performing an economic activity now what is the monetary value of those resources consumed is a cost for accounting purposes per se cost means this so why do you prepare cost accounting i mean uh, cost accounting records maintain to find out the cost of a product for a service for an activity for an cost objects so all these concepts please try to go through by definitions and try to practice yourself how do you prepare the cost sheet and thoroughly understand how cost sheets can be prepared with the help of trial balance and classification of cost direct and indirect cost fixed and variable cost and overhead cost functional overheads or right, material cost labor cost other expenses these are various classifications and then try to prepare the formal cost sheet where you show first the prime cost then you go show the factory cost then you show the cost of production then finally you show cost of goods sold attempt few questions you will be able to understand the concepts and i'm sure you will be able to do the very well on this paper to it the very simple main focus is remember there are multiple choice questions with question sufficient amount percentage of marks allotted to it so give a concentration to i think in your case 30 marks are given to multiple choice question so better give lot of attention in doing that one go with confidence go with clarity and give more time for multiple choice question and time to solving full numerical problems don't try to rush towards finding an answer in numerical problems leave it as it is as much as you can do but definitely give more time to multiple choice question and do it you will succeed my best wishes to all of you to become a cost and management accountant thank you very much